Hello and welcome back to another tutorial from me, Louise Egan, um, from winitwordpress.com. Today I'm going to show you how to set up your hosting with Black Knight, which is a hosting provider based in Ireland and that caters for Europe and the UK and Ireland. Um, so let's get started. Okay, so as I said, today I'm going to be showing you how to set up your hosting with Black Knight. Um, the reason why I recommend Black Knight is because they're really just a top-notch provider for hosting. Uh, I've actually set up three of my websites with them and I've never had any problems. And their support is just really, really good if you have any problems um, with getting anything set up. So what you want to do is you want to go straight into hosting. Um, Black Knight actually offer free.com domains when you buy hosting. So you can get the link to that in my in the description and that's always handy to get them set up together. Um, so you want to go into web hosting, that's perfect for like the majority of websites. Um, now it says here that media hosting is ideal for small to medium businesses and e-commerce, etc. Um, however, I actually have set up three e-commerce websites on this one minimalist hosting. So to be honest, I think that's perfect for um, most websites when you're starting off. So click on more and you can just choose your package so you can pay um, by the month, you can pay by the year. Now this is better value, this is the one I actually went with myself, um, but if you don't have the, the money to spend on that right now, it's, it's handy to get billed by the month sometimes as well. So you choose whichever package you want, let's say we're going to go with this. And now the fantastic thing about this is, um, the fantastic thing about this is that that 50 euro actually gives you 30 websites which is incredible because i was really pleasantly surprised when i went to set up my second and third website that i didn't have to pay for hosting again but that's really really handy um so when you're checking out you can pick extras if you want so all these are just extras as you can see they have the prices beside them um they're not necessary when you're starting out i wouldn't get them if you're just starting out but it's something to look at you can look into them and see if you want to get them. Um, so then you can just go down and you have your total, you can check out and then it'll give you an option to create your account. So um, that's pretty much it. Then once you're finished creating your account, you want to go and log into your account. So once you log in, you'll see here, you'll go straight into your dashboard. So um, as I said, I would really, really recommend that you register your domain um, at the same time as you're buying your hosting and just make life a lot easier for you. Um, but if not, I do have a video on how to transfer over your domain name if it's registered on somebody else. Um, but for now, we're going to presume that you got your domain name while you were signing up. So your domain name will now be in here in register domains. Uh, but you want to go into host the domains because you want to host your domain. You don't want to just register it. So these are the domain names that I have registered. Um, you can see this one is just parking, but these ones are all Apache website, which means there's a website on that domain name. So if yours, now it might be showing up, but if it's not, the domain name that you just registered, you want to click on add registered domain. So you've just registered your domain name and it's not being hosted yet. You put in the domain name that you just registered without the www. Um, you have your hosting package, which is what you just bought. And then you want to go down here to web hosting and you want website Apache, okay? And then for mail hosting, you want Qmail, which means that they will host your mail for you um, and that will just allow you to run email off your website. So that's vital as well because um, it just looks more professional if you have your own email for your website. And click on next. Um, I can't do it right now, but it'll come up that it's complete, that it's done and it'll click finish. Um, that I, the reason why I obviously can't do it is because I don't have a domain name to put in, but um, it'll just click next and then click finish. And then when you go back, well, it'll bring you back to your host domains. And when you go back to your host domains, it'll come up like this. So it'll have the domain name that you just registered and it'll have Apache website and Qmail and everything will be in order. So you're thinking now, okay, I have my hosting set up. How do I start working on my website? So what you want to do is you want to click on the individual um, the individual domain name that you've just registered. So let's say, for example, this one. And you actually want to go into web applications. Make sure you're on the right domain name if you have a couple. And click install. 
and all your different applications kind of add-ons will come up for your website so as you can see they have magento if you're using e-commerce there's loads of different things that you can use but for now since you're only starting out your website i would recommend just install wordpress and um, don't worry about all the other ones you'll get to that later i actually have been running my e-commerce website for two years and i don't think i've ever used any of these but it's handy to know that you have them if you need them. so you just click on wordpress and click next now so with this thing up here um, you actually want to leave this as just a forward slash because you don't want basically if you leave forward slash wordpress in there the only way people can access your website is by typing in your domain name forward slash wordpress and it's not you know it's not really needed and you don't want people um you don't really want wordpress in your url so you can just leave that blank and then move on to the next part you pick your login which is your username here and you pick your password now i'd very much recommend that you use the password that they give you as you can see it's very much um it's very complicated and it's going to ensure that you don't get hacked which is the main thing so then you have your login and your password your email address application title so you can put in the name of your company or whatever and english and then you click next and there we have it you just click finish to finish the process now i'm not going to do it with this but that's once you click finish it'll be done okay and then your website will be completely set up with WordPress. All you need to do is go to the domain name that you've set up. So for example, mine is winatwordpress.com. Let's say you just bought your domain name and put in the end bit that you just wrote in. So say WP admin, and it'll bring you to this. You can log in and go straight into your WordPress dashboard and get started straight away making a website. So there you have it guys. That's how to set up your hosting with Black Knight. Um, as I said, what Black Knight are only catering at the moment for Europe, the UK and Ireland. So if you are based in the US, um, you can follow along and maybe use Bluehost or one of the other hosting providers in the US. And I am planning on making videos uh, that will show you how to do that with them hosting providers. But for now, you can just follow along to this tutorial. Thanks, guys. So there you have it. It's not that hard to set up your hosting um, and it's easiest if you buy your domain name off the same hosting provider as well. Um, if you want to check out uh, my other video about if you if it, your domain name is on a different server, um, check that out now. And the reason why I recommend Black Knight is because I use it myself on both my websites and I've never had any problems with them. And they're extremely helpful if you have any problems and that's what you look for in a hosting provider. Um, so if you wouldn't, if you're not based in Europe, um, I'd also recommend Bluehost or maybe GoDaddy um, or Namecheap if you are um, somebody who isn't doing an e-commerce site. So you can check out all these in the description, there's links, and if you'd like to check out my WordPress course, you can head on over to my website using the button right here. So thanks very much guys, and don't forget to like, share and subscribe. See you next time.